So, I may have become wanted on this entire Earth SMP. Let me explain. Me and Oweka were invited to play on this SMP. That's supposedly a recreation of Earth. Each player can own a country, and you're free to interwine with world affairs, kill innocent bystanders, and even invade people's lands. You know what your boy wants to do. We wanted to invade someone's empire, since me and Oweka kinda suck at building, as you can see from the horror show that we called a build. Something I didn't realize was we were late to this event. Frankly, a month late, so most of the land was already taken, and everyone was all looted up. And then there's us, poor, cold, and homeless. Yeah, we're actually in shambles. I feel like we're in Australia. <sighs> Our first two goals were to find a place to call home and some allies. We were stuck in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. Luckily, we were given a starter pack of iron tools, armors, and of course, munchies. Can't go without that. Here's the game plan. Instead of the typical us finding a place to live, stack up, and strive, Oweka had something else in mind. <laughs> something we might come to regret. Oh my god, I got a message. Did you actually? You're lying. Who? Yeah, he said looking for a team question. I'll get you in if they let me in. Yeah, yeah. I said yes. He said HVDC question. What, what does that mean? Oh, have Discord. Oh my god. No chance they want me in their Discord. <laughs> but we'll also have to worry about how we're going to be earning their trust in the first place. This was not going to be an easy task. Aweka tried telling them that his mom doesn't let him be on Discord that late into the night. What is bro talking about? Too late. Mama. So, where are you, FRM? Where are you from? Is that what he said? Yes. Oh, France. Did France? <laughs> <laughs> we had to make sure the team was willing to take the two of us in. So we realized that this might actually take a while. So we decided to get a bit comfortable. And by comfortable, we landed at a small remote island off the coast of Alaska. Cozy. Did he add you? Or did? Are you gonna give him your Discord? Hell no. <laughs> I may have gone a little impatient and tried assassinating Oweka for fun. No hard feelings, though. Chill, bruh. Get off my island, bruh. Uh. Dude! <laughs> <laughs> Idiot. Somehow, this dimwit of a friend of mine, Oweka, managed to slip his way into our first team. Their team was named Bad Boys. Yeah, I'm not kidding about that, by the way. I don't actually know how I feel about this team, but you know, we're just gonna go with it. Team Bad Boys was filled with two people, Leaf and Sappho. Oweka asks if we could teleport to see their base, since we did need some loot after all. Wait, he said he had another teammate? He did. Leaf, Leaf added me. That's all right. Can we TP to... <laughs> Sounds so sus. Say we're stranded in the, in the ocean. Not gonna lie, they seem like they don't fully trust us. But can I really blame them? Because we barely trust them. We could be walking into a trap as we speak, and we would have no idea. Safa, the leader of Bad Boys, decided to teleport to us. We thought he was gonna let us teleport to him and see his base, but that wasn't the case. I'll be back, Adrians. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, why did he TP here? God damn it. <laughs> you did not read the TP message saying he oh. wanted to TP to you? No, I didn't. He seemed curious about what we were even up to, and he only saw an island because that's where we were stuck. We were just in the middle of the ocean. All right, we kill him, honestly. What? No, no, no. I want to see his base, bro. Okay. Seems Oweka was just as blood hungry as I was. He gave me his heart. So the Earth SMP is also a lifesteal. I feel like we should have known this before we started playing. Cool. If we die, we lose a heart. If we lose all of our hearts, we are banned from the SMP. But at the time of the clips you're watching, we actually didn't know it would ban us. So we thought it was just whatever. You know, we just kind of guessed with one heart and yeah. After added us on Discord and getting to know us a little bit, they were finally down to lead us to their lovely base. This is about to be the ugliest house. I'm killing them when we get there, no matter what. Yo, you better be ready to fight, bro. Oh my gosh. If we rush it, we may not make it out alive. It's a 2v2 after all. I, I TP to him. He's not accepting. Okay, I'm a TP. Uh, hey, TP to me. TP to me. All right, let's see what they got going on. <laughs> You're just checking out their chest. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> yes. Ooh. 
This is it. They didn't seem like they got too far beyond us, but definitely further than us. But upon further looking into it, they also had a bit of netherite and a bunch of end crystals. Like, where did you even find this stuff? They're called the bad boys? Ew. Wait, wait, Adrian's, 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 Adrian's. They're called the bad boys. Adrian's, Adrian's, Adrian's. Adrian's, I could literally, I could end crystal this guy right now. <laughs> Yo, he gave me three hearts. Oh, he gave me three hearts too. Wow, look, 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 Rose died, bro. Bunch, bunch. Telling us to stay at home. Okay. Bro, please let me end crystal him right now. Wait, we should wait for him to stack up and then end crystal him. You guys, you have an end crystal on you right now? Yes, I stole it. I have 11 end crystals That's in three, crazy. In three obsidian. I listen, bro. Because <laughs> the. The, the thing is, though, there's potential with these people. Mm-hmm. Like, potential for, like, I don't know. We we bomb them right now. All we get is a diamond helmet. He has everything we have, except for a diamond helmet. No, I have a diamond chest plate, and... I don't got that. <laughs> you got that. I don't got that. I'm just taking shit from them. Hey. Who did that? Oh, he's giving me... He's giving oh. me books. All right, let me, let me loot first. I'm gonna suck. This buffoon Safa ended up placing crystals that were in his inventory originally in the chest that I was looking into. I also stole his netherite without him realizing. And Aweka begins the attack. <laughs> he came back shifted at us. <laughs> Merkin, bro, Merkin, bro, Merkin, Merkin. You know what? You know what? <laughs> Screw it, bro. Is there an E chest? Oh my god. Oh my god. Farm his hearts, farm his hearts, farm his hearts. Oh my god. What is he fighting with? He, he broke his bed, he broke his bed, he broke his bed. This is the last heart we're gonna get from him. And he's dead. We won. Me and Aweka are now the owners of this team's base. They trusted us, they led us into their home, and look where it took them is exactly what we thought, but things decided to take a horrible turn. It seemed that Safa came back with diamond armor. The thing to note here is that he has 40 hearts on default. Even though there was two of us, this ended up happening. Oh my god. I died, I died, I died. You have to get him. Oh my god. 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 No! We have set home, we have set home, we have set home. Get him, bro. Get him, bro. Get him. Oh, I died again. Okay. Watch him. Yeah, so we messed up big time. Our only hope was to barrage him with the two of us to see if we could kill him and get our stuff back. I mean, he's decking us. The strategy for us lasted quite some time, but it really wasn't working. Do we, do we have crystals? We did have crystals until he has them now. We needed a different game plan, and it's beyond that at this point. What we needed to do is a switch on our strategy of being on the attack to being on the defense. He's only a player, right? So we just have to lurk in the shadows and wait for our opportunity. This was the only way we could stay alive. A side effect from constantly dying is our health count. We didn't realize it at the time, but this was a horrible thing. It meant that we could lose all of our hearts and get banned off of the server. It's super dark in these parts. Our main goal was to wait for him to go AFK or attack him with either lava or some end crystals. A lot easier said than done. We ended up finding a cave to hide in nearby, right behind his villager farm. I used the F3 chunk reload strat to see him through the walls. No way you're unshifting, bro. If you get smacked right now, it's all you. Luckily, after a little bit, he left the base and I ended up stealing all of his stuff that was his originally. I wasn't getting out of this before. Not again. This will be my hidden vault. That's seamlessly hidden behind the wall in the cave. Surely he won't be able to find this, right? Aweka still intended on getting his revenge against Safa. So, when they hopped off the server for a little bit, we ended up entering his base once more. We've only seen mostly his one teammate. The second one is still sneaking around somewhere. Me and Aweka ended up chopping up their chests, their hard-earned loot. We weren't leaving them unscathed. You're crazy if you thought at this point. We would 
would do such a thing. They're literally farming us for hearts. I'm putting blood everywhere to represent our killing today. Our hearts are going to be near impossible to even get back in the first place. Let's just hope he doesn't hop on while we're doing this. This is a clip of Oweka juggling. Is that all you wanted to do? Want to juggle? After looting a bit more stuff, I then put the supplies we now have into my hidden chest vault. We're robbing them, okay? They deserve it. Something we didn't realize is that someone on the Earth SMP complained about what we've been up to. Okay then, we're criminals and wanted dead and banned if seen, but come on, it can't be that bad. Safa then hops back onto the server after we've broken everything he owns, stolen his goods, and are still hiding in the cave next to his house. Did we think this through? Probably not. Uh uh. Dude, I said sorry. He said, why you guys betray me? I said sorry, hop on and we apologize and we rebuild together. He's on. No. He's on. Uh oh. Oweka was straight tripping. Adrian. This is you on mining torch, right? You are in the wall. I just saw somebody. In the cave. <laughs> I was doing a bit of trolling myself. Not the right moment for this though. He may be able to hear us mining. Okay. He's looking at his kill villagers. Yeah, it looks slim for us fixing things with them. I don't think that's really a possibility anymore. That's a bit rough. Oh, his friend's on. Wait, that's you! <laughs> Did you just run up to him? <laughs> yeah, I did. I mean, I on me. Should I just go for it? Hell no, I didn't have enough in the chest. This was looking rough. Just to add some context here, we don't know at this point either that we'll get banned if we lose all of our hearts, but it's there. Things took a horrible turn when both Safa and his teammate hopped on and discovered our little cave we were facing in. The place with the hidden vault of ours. I didn't think they'd even be here. I had all of our goods in here. We had to be careful. Oweka played as bait while I literally used my bare hands to get this stupid loot and book it out of there. Oweka being the decoy was where everything went wrong. He ended up only having one heart and he didn't tell me about it. In order to save this loot, he ended up risking his life and in turn got banned from the server. Adrian's, I was banned. <laughs> I lost all my hearts. I didn't know they banned you, that's crazy. Mm -hmm. That means like one trap and you're gone. Yeah. Note to self, Oweka's the problem. If you want to see more content from me and Oweka, make sure to subscribe and comment down below what you thought of the video.